So we've got three that are caught. Lumbar, he don't care. Well, that's old Eleanor's little little one. Oh, Nora. Hey, Nora. Hey, Eleanor. Let's see if these calves, they want to come in. They all come in real quick. Shake this feed a little bit for them. So I've got Marissa with me and my wife, my wife, and we've put feet out for the calves. I see four, so I'm just gonna basically sneak around the barn and see if I can catch them. That's the idea. So Marissa's gonna stay up here where they are and film, and hopefully I don't scare them because they're gonna be able to see me just a little bit. But they're in this lane right now where I've been feeding them. Kevin's been feeding them mostly, and let's see if I can get them. So let's attempt. So, looks like we're only gonna catch four. Big ones right there. That's Quapaws. Rest of them are out here. So I'm gonna climb through. Shut this gate. I don't even know what's happening yet. So they're caught, they saw me now, they figured it out. Here's Mr. Dunbar himself, the crew. There's our last calf, but he's, he's definitely the biggest one in this group, so he's not gonna make this catch. But the rest of these are up here. I'm gonna walk by them though to get back, so they're gonna get a little skittish here. Need to make a move pretty quick so they don't go through that. Let me just lock this. Eleanor's bowl up. He has to have water. Sorry for all the noises. Just gonna have to make a move pretty quick because I don't like them stuck down that alley. That's when they get all stressed out. Just open them up. That long run for them. So it gives them lots of room to run. This is the same place Marissa and I caught those yearling heifers. There's our Eleanor's, Eleanor's bull. Don't want him to go with that barbed wire right there.
There goes one. Well, this is what I was worried about. It's a bad spot right here when you put them in a pressure point. Adults, it's not such a big deal. Yes, the adults can get through here, but Eleanor's little one just went through there. Oh, there she is right there. Eleanor. So we've got three that are caught. Mamas aren't very happy. Dunbar, he don't care. So two calves are left right here. Uno and dos. We may try to catch them later. We're gonna go ahead and start the winning process with these three. I'll open up a gate for them. Up there. So behind them is open. And they just haven't saw it yet. Because they haven't been in there yet. I'm gonna slowly give them time here. Let them figure it out. That one figured it out. So maybe the other two will. Give them a moment. Okay, I see that. Now they find another opening. This one says, I'm going back for more groceries. I don't know what y'all are doing. There they go. All right, now we'll wait on number three here to figure it out. Boom. They should run down that long lane right there and into the green grass. Oh, he's happy. So they're caught. And so what this does is this gives me room because they're way down there. They're, they're, they're hopping around and stuff. It gives me room to come over here and yeah, look at them. They're all jazzed up, they want out. Okay hey guys, I'm gonna try something here. You see this, this is what I call the gauntlet area. You see how much grass is growing in here. Kevin planted some rye, it looked like, and some other stuff. But what I wanna be able to do is, I wanna be able to allow the adults to come up this alley and still smell and touch noses with these calves that I just pinned up. Here's another good thing about it. If we can get them to come up this lane, this is how we typically catch them. It's not the greatest setup, we know that. We've had issues with this before. But if we can at least get some of those mamas coming up here, touching noses with the calves, it may give us a shot. So I've opened up this gate, so then go in here, they can at least graze all this down and we'll see what they do right here. Hey, 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 ah, ah, easy, easy, take your time. Hey, hey, hey. Wrong way. Ladies, it's not here. I know that's where you want to go. Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. Don't go in there. I don't blame him. Got him. Oh, damn. Now go back in there. Go back in there. Thank you. Okay, got him now. Alright, so you got two mamas right here with the babies. And I thought 
the other one was uh kits but it is actually eleanor's baby that's caught up here so we're gonna open this gate i'm gonna move this new creek gate out of the way i'm gonna let the big herd be able to come up here we're gonna try that of course this guy's waiting on me There's the other calf we need right there. Need two of them. Okay, so. Got the gate open. I moved our creep calf catcher gate, whatever you call it, out of the way. Now this allows the Dunbar herd to come up here in this lane that we always can typically catch them in. The only one that we struggle catching. You guys can probably go ahead and take one guess. Yeah, Eleanor. So, something that we can do with them, and I know Kevin's really good at this, is feed. See, look, first two, first one ends a calf. Those moms are gonna come in here and start grazing, because the calves didn't graze all this. First two came up here, calves, and then some mamas. That fence, that I thought it was Eleanor's calf, Nora, but it was Flo's baby who went through there. They're about the same size. We actually have caught Nora, and I didn't know it, but I could tell because Eleanor kept pacing back and forth, and uh, you know her baby's up here, so I could tell it was Eleanor's, and Flo's baby went with her. So that barbed wire right there where she went through is not ideal. That is an early fence building when we started raising bison back in 2018. That was one of the first builds, and so uh, these mamas aren't wasting any time. They're going to come up here, and they're going to get nose to nose with these calves, and uh, see, there you go right there. There's five adults, including or four cows and Dunbar, and both calves are in here because they're too interested. These are mamas right here of these two babies. So they're uh, wanting to come see them and what's going on. So right now, if somebody was down on that end where I just was, you could catch them. You see how they're starting to freak out? That's because the queen bee, which is right here, this is Quapaw. Quapaw will kick them and push them around. See, they already figured it out. They're like, I know what this is. They're gone. And Dunbar's like, I don't even care. You look pretty right now, Dunbar. You got your black and your brown going. That's real pretty, buddy. And he's going for the feed. Of course he is. Smart guy. Looking good, Dunbar. Look healthy, buddy. What I just did by putting these calves and pinning them up up here in the front, it brings the mamas up here, one, to smell their calves and touch noses with their calves. Two, we can start feeding them just like what we did here. That's the same feed that I put out for the calves. Instead of the calves eating it, it's going to be the adults. And this is a way that you start to be able to catch your herd before we have to move them or work them. Typically after we work the bison, this is an area that sometimes doesn't have a lot of grass so kevin gets likes to get the grass growing in here and then let some in here to graze it down um, and then they'll clean it up and we can come in here and actually work the bison in the squeeze chute
So I was able to get four in. I wasn't able to film the last one because it got a little hairy. But uh, Marissa had to go up to the house with Brooks. So. so anyways, the only calf that we haven't caught is Flo's baby. And like I said earlier, I had her. I had four at one time and she went through the barbed wire fence. This is something that we built in the early stages and it's just all beginner farmer stuff. The lessons that you go through and challenges you have to go through to make things better. And... I had a feeling she's gonna go through there. That's why I kind of hustled and scared the rest of them back up here to the main corral so I could catch them. So I caught three and then the mamas kept coming up here cause they wanted some of that feed in the trough, which is what I said they would do. And then I went around and I got them up into our long area and I was able to get one more and it's one of the quapaw babies. So one left out in the pasture and I'm not heartbroken about it. It's the littlest one actually flows uh eleanor's baby nora she's over here she is second to the smallest and so it's no big deal what we'll do is we'll keep an eye out we're gonna open all this up which is dunbar's in here right now by the way he's looking the prettiest i've seen him i think ever this is the biggest dunbar has ever been i can't wait to weigh him and see how much he weighs that calf is coming up here in that lane right there so what this does it gives us a chance with those cows to come up here we can start feeding them in these feed troughs right here Dunbar, oh my gosh, that calf is right here. Uh, I don't, you can, but she'll take off. See that calf came? What? No, uh-uh. She's just being nosy. See, these calves being up here, starting the weaning process, it'll draw those mamas up here. And then, like I said, we can feed in these troughs and that draws their attention up here and gives us a better chance of being able to catch them. And that's kind of, something that i just kind of threw together uh, kind of quick and so we may be able to catch this calf here in a little bit all right you better behave what no mine the biggest challenge is not that calf that i'm worried about the biggest challenge for us is gonna be Eleanor. So because Eleanor is how she is and who she is, she does not like coming up the lane. And she knows that when she comes up the lane, there's a chance it's too tight. I mean, it's only like 15 yard, 10 yards wide. She knows that when she comes up through that lane that she may get pinned and pushed around because she's the weakest. She's at the bottom of the pecking order. And so I do not blame her to wanna come up here. Uh, there's other ways to get them caught that we've used in the past. We just may have to move some animals around to open up gates. And so we can go from there, but hopefully we can get Eleanor caught and then we'll get the Dunbar herd caught, all of them, and then we can make a move. We just have to start feeding them. She looks really good. They're coming. Cole, you gotta catch them. Let them come in. <laughs> <laughs> 